I think that all of you will remember this intro. My name is Lloyd Baxter. surprise guest. Kind of surprises me, as a matter of fact. I, I haven't seen you guys for at least 40 years. How did you get so old? Yeah. No, it's it's uh, it's really, really great to be here, I gotta tell you. Uh, Canoga Park High School has always been one of my favorite high schools. Uh, whenever I talk at another high school, I just name another high school. I have a big list of high schools here. Oh, it is Canoga Park High School. No, actually, I, I don't do reunions. I really don't do reunions. But I live in Studio City. And when, I, uh, when uh, Dana told me that they were doing the reunion by email, and I said, well, gee, I just live down the street. I'll, I'll drop in. And I really wanted to see you guys because I have uh, some ulterior motives. I'm about ready to put out a DVD of the shows, and they've never been released before. Uh, no one has seen any of this stuff for 40 years, and uh, I want to get some, you know, email addresses and stuff from you guys uh, so that I can keep you informed on it. Because of the shows that I have, I probably have some Canoga Park people in there because you guys uh, were... How many people were on the show here? Wow, see, that's great. Actually, these are people who actually were on the show. When the show was on, I, I estimated uh, in the years that the show was on, you may find this hard to believe, I had 40,000 students on the show, which was on five days a week, 52 weeks a year, and every day we had about 40 kids on the show, 40 of you kids on the show. Anyway, I gotta tell you this story because uh, I came in a little bit early. Uh, actually, I stayed all night here. Even though I lived out in the street, I didn't want to miss it, so I took a room. <laughs> and uh, uh, I, I had the Dana's uh, cell phone number so I could call, and I was sitting in the bar, and I was had the cell phone there, and I noticed a guy sitting next to me. I, I like to relate these stories. The guy was sitting next to me, and he was talking to his hand. And I walked over to him, and I said, what have you got there? He says, well, I have the latest in cell phones. It's actually, I had it surgically put into my hand so that I can talk, and then when I'm through talking, I just close it up like this, put my hand in my pocket, and if it rings, I just take it out, and I thought, that's really amazing. And he got up and he excused himself, and he, he walked into the men's room, and I was sitting there waiting for Dana's call, and he came walking out, and he had, well, there was toilet paper sticking out of his, dragging on the floor, and he came back, and he sat back at the bar, and I, I, I looked at him kind of embarrassed, and I said, excuse me, but you've got something dragging there. And he turned around and he said, oh my goodness, I must be getting a fax. <laughs> you know, I love the fact, I, I told my wife, I told my wife I was gonna tell that story. And she said, you're not gonna tell the story, you're not gonna get a laugh. However, I did it. <laughs> and I wanna prove it to her. So I brought this camera. And what I wanna do is, is I'm going to give the punchline again. And, and, wait a minute, don't laugh now. Don't laugh now. No, wait a minute, okay. Uh, let me see here, okay. Uh, uh, here it goes. Okay, I'm getting a fax. Great, great, great. Now I can prove to my wife that... Uh, uh, we're all getting a little...